What's up everybody for the win Tachi here you know what it is and I'm going to be showing you an amazing video today featuring Pokemon Go content. How to get experience points and spam the levels of your avatar in Pokemon Go. Now first of all I'm going to get rid of the basics on how to earn experience points. You get 0 to 50 experience awarded from training at a gym. You can get 10 experience awarded from curveball bonuses, which is curving the ball when you capture a Pokemon, or a nice throw bonus. You get 50 experience points awarded when you do the great throw bonus and also Pokestop interaction. You get 100 XP awarded from a successful Pokemon capture on any capture, and of course the excellent throw bonus. Uh, you get 200 experience points awarded when you hatch an egg, which is a 2k egg. 500 experience points bonus when you hatch a egg, which is a 5k egg. Add any new Pokemon to the Pokedex or evolve a Pokemon. And you get 1,000 experience points awarded when you hatch a 10k egg. Now, all of these bo uh, bonuses that you can get and all these ways of ex increasing your experience points, you can double that if you have a lucky egg on. In your shop, you can go ahead and purchase these lucky eggs. Uh, you can purchase it in singles, in packs of 8 and 25, uh, featured by Poke Coins. I'm going to go ahead and show you in this video, I've been waiting to do it for a long time, and this is going to be taking a while. We are going to use the most well-known way to power up and power level your trainer by earning infinite experience points. And I say infinite because it is as much as you want it to be. So, it's basically a evolving glitch on any low-level uh, required Pokemon. So, for example, it's usually used with Pidgeys, Weedles, and Caterpies because they only require 12 candies to evolve. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, and I will talk about it while we are doing it. So, again, a lucky egg that's filled with happiness earns double XP for 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and use it, and right away, i got to go ahead and start evolving these Pokemon. Because I only got 30 minutes to do so, and I have a lot of Pokemon to evolve. We're going to be starting off with my Caterpies, and evolve as many as possible. It requires no Stardust for me to do so, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it right off the bat. Basically, I'm going to earn 1,000 experience points for every evolution that I do. And instead of the normal 500, I get 1,000. And why are Caterpie... Weedles and Pidgeys use so much is because they are they only require 12 candies to evolve which is the lowest within the game of Pokemon Go so we're gonna go ahead and utilize all the doubles and triples and quadruple plus Pokemon that I have and I've organized my uh, Pokemon storage system to um, basically spam evolution everything and there's going to be some Pokemon that aren't Pidgeys, Weedles, and Caterpies that I'm going to evolve. And I'm just going to be evolving them just because I have enough candies to evolve them as well. And I want to get as much experience points as possible within a certain given time that I have this lucky egg. So this is why I say it is an infinite amount of experience points. Is the fact that you can capture as many Pokemon as you want. You could reach level 1 to max level within just doing this system, but by the time you've actually started doing this, you'd probably be at like level 10 uh, by just capturing Pokemon in general. So you could reach max level by just doing this in one sitting, but it would require a couple of lucky eggs as well because you won't be able to evolve all of that much experience points. So we're going to continue it on, and I will reorganize my... Um, my storage system for my Pokemon after I've done this video because as you guys know I like to keep one of every single Pokemon but again we're gonna try to evolve as many Pokemon as possible within this 30 minute given time so without further ado let me go ahead and fast forward the rest of this clip and I'll catch you guys on the last evolution
All right, everybody. So I finished evolving everything that I wanted to evolve, and we're about to see how much experience points we just received. On the bottom left, it should appear. Uh, we've leveled up, that's for sure. Level 26. But how much experience points was that? Come on, mate. Come on, mate. 66,000 experience points. And I'm not done yet. Because all those Pokemon that I just evolved, I can get some candies by transferring them and evolve a couple more. So 70,000 plus experience points in just a spam of less than half an hour. I am super happy that I finally reached level 26. That was a lot of experience points that I needed. I needed roughly 40,000. So 66,000 definitely took care of that by 26,000. 70,000 plus experience points, let alone just getting above the 50,000 mark was what I was aiming for. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for some more content brought to you by Father Win Itachi. Check out the description box again. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe to the channel. And peace out. Have a wonderful day.